On April 15, 1942, Hiram Bithorn made history as the first player from Puerto Rico to play Major League Baseball as a pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. Since then, over 368 ball players, mostly born on the island, but also including those of Puerto Rican descent born on the U.S. mainland, have played in Major League Baseball. Puerto Rican baseball players have become some of the best in the history of the game and they have left their mark on the sport. Of the approximately 368 baseball players, countless have stood out in the upper echelons of the sport, and so far, five have had their names enshrined in the Hall of Fame, an achievement which only 1% of players reach. We're gonna look at these five Hall of Fame baseball players according to their status. Number five. Edgar Martinez. Martinez was born in New York City on January 2nd, 1963 to Puerto Rican parents. However, he grew up in Dorado, Puerto Rico. Nicknamed Gar and Papi, he played in Major League Baseball as a designated hitter and third baseman for the Seattle Mariners from 1987 to 2004. He even served as their hitting coach from 2015 to 2018. Martinez was a seven-time Major League Baseball All-Star, five-time Silver Slugger, and a two-time batting champion. He is one of 18 Major League Baseball players to record a batting average of .300, an on-base percentage of .400, and a slugging percentage of .500, and 5,000 or more plate appearances. He was elected to the Hall of Fame in 2019 with his name on 85.4% of the ballots cast in his final year of eligibility. Number four, Orlando Cepeda. Orlando Cepeda was born in Ponce, Puerto Rico on September 17, 1937. Nicknamed the Baby Bull and Peruching, he played for six teams as a first baseman from 1958 to 1974, primarily the San Francisco Giants. Cepeda's achievements include 11-time All-Star, 1958 NL Rookie of the Year, 1961 NL Home Run Title, 1967 World Series Champion, and the NL MVP. He was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1999 by the Hall's Veterans Committee. Number three, Ivan Rodriguez. Ivan Rodriguez was born in Manati, Puerto Rico on November 27, 1971. Nicknamed Pudge and Irod, he played for six teams as a catcher, primarily the Texas Rangers. His achievements in the sport include 2,844 hits, 0.296 batting average, 311 home runs, 46% caught stealing rate, 14-time All-Star, 13 gold gloves, 7 silver sluggers, 1999 AL MVP, and 2003 World Series champion. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest catchers in Major League Baseball history. He was elected into the Hall of Fame in 2017 on the first ballot receiving 76% of the vote. Number two is Roberto Alomar. Born on February 5, 1968 in Ponce, Puerto Rico, Alomar played from 1988 to 2004 with four teams, primarily the Toronto Blue Jays as second baseman. His achievements in the sport include a .300 batting average, 474 stolen bases, 12-time All-Star, 10 gold gloves, 4 silver sluggers, 2 World Series championships, and 1998 ASG MVP. He is also regarded as one of the greatest second basemen of all time. He was elected to the Hall of Fame in his second year of eligibility with 90% of the vote in 2011. And finally, number one, no surprise here, Roberto Clemente. 
Clemente was born in Carolina, Puerto Rico on August 18, 1934. He played right fielder for 18 seasons from 1955 to 1972 for the Pittsburgh Pirates. His career achievements include 3,000 hits, .317 batting average, 240 home runs, 15-time All-Star, 12 gold gloves, 4 batting titles, 2 World Series championships, 1966 NL MVP, and 1971 WS MVP. He is regarded as one of the greatest players in Major League Baseball history. For Puerto Ricans, Clemente is a beloved figure. He is not just seen as our greatest baseball player. He is seen as our greatest sportsman. But beyond that, he was a great humanitarian. Clemente died on December 31, 1972 at the young age of 38. He was on a plane to deliver supplies to earthquake victims in Nicaragua when it crashed into the Atlantic Ocean immediately after takeoff. On March 20, 1973, the Baseball Writers Association of America held a special election and inducted Clemente into the Hall of Fame with 92.7% of the vote. He was the first Latin American ever to be inducted. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Help us to spread this video by sharing. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos.